Okay, so how do we perform or how do we do systematic random sampling? So let us consider the following example. Um, say these uh, values would represent the number of universities in uh, 12 cities. So our population in this case is 12, that will be represented by big letter N. And the sample that we want to uh, come up with from the given population is a sample wherein the size is equal to 4. So our small letter n is equal to 4, which denotes our sample size. And um, before we do anything for the systematic random sampling, we have to ensure that the arrangement of the values that we have in our sampling frame, for example, or in our sampling list, must not follow a certain periodicity or must not follow a certain pattern. Okay, otherwise, um, that will be subject for bias in the selection of our uh, sample from the given population. So here, what we need to do first is to compute for our sampling interval, and that is denoted by letter K. And that is given by having to compute or having to divide our population size by our sample size, which is a smaller n. So uh, from our given uh, set of data or from our example, we will compute for the value of K. And the value of k that we will have, that will be equal to 12 divided by 4. And that will give us a sampling interval, which is equal to uh, 3. Okay? Now, that means to say we can randomly start the selection of our sample by starting off with the first element up until the value of k, which is 3. So meaning, we have the option to start our sample by choosing either the first element in the given population, uh, the second element, or the third element. Okay, I could not choose 10 because it will be the fourth element in my uh, population since our random start must only be within the first element up until the value of k, which is 3. So that means to say, I can start the first uh, option that I can uh, that I will have or the first sample that I may choose. Let's say I will start with um, six, which is the second uh, element in the population. So that means to say I will have six as my first element. Now, how do I choose the next element uh, to be uh, chosen from the population? Since our k is equal to three, so from six I'm going to count three steps or three jumps. So from six, one. In this case, 1, uh, 2, uh, 3. Therefore, I, my next element will be equal to 12. Then I will continue. I'm skip counting by 3. So from 12, I will count 1, 2, 3. Then I will have 11 as my next element. Okay. Then what I will do next is, again, to count or to jump 3 from uh, 11, from what we have chosen here. So jumping 3 units, that would be 1, 2, 3. And again, I'm going to come up with 11. Now, I will stop here. Why is it that I'm going to stop there? Well, other than the fact that if I continue, skip counting by three, there are, um, there's only one element that follows after that, and then uh, there's nothing more. Okay? In the same manner, looking at the, the first sample that we have, okay, since the sample size that we want to uh, arrive at is four, if you're going to inspect the first sample that we have uh, come up with, has actually four elements, and that includes 6, 12, 11, and 11. Okay, so it's just one option of the three possible options we will have since our k is equal to 3. So our next possible sample that we may choose from our population wherein k is equal to 3, I may start, let's say for example, I will start with the third element. So therefore, I'll have the first uh, element of the sample that I'm going to choose is 8. So skip counting by 3 after that. I'll have, so from 8, I'll count 3 units. So 1, 2, 3. The next element will be equal to 10. From 10, I'll count 1, 2, 3. The next element will be 9. And counting 3 steps, 1, 2, 3. The next element will be 7. And I will stop there because nothing else follows. And in the same manner, by inspecting the sample that we have, it contains four elements because the sample, uh, the sample that we want should have a size of four. And um, what we have here, there are actually four elements. Okay. However, we still have another um, possible sample or the last sample that we may choose from the given population. So say I will start off with the first element, which is in this case is 13. So starting from 13, skip counting by three, I'll have one, two, three. The next element is 10. Skip counting by 3, 1, 2, 3, the next element is 11. 
Then skip counting by 3. I'll have 1, 2, 3. The next element is 5. And I will stop there. That's because I already have 4 elements in my sample. That's because our sample size is 4. So these are uh, the three possible um, options for the sample to be chosen from our given population wherein our uh, random start will be starting from 1 to 3 wherein our k is equal to uh, 3. So I hope uh, this is uh, clear with how uh, we do the systematic random sampling.